Now to the Broadway star, still finding a way to shine one year after the theaters went dark due to the pandemic. According to the Broadway League, nearly 100,000 workers rely on the theater industry for their livelihood. Ariel Resif joins us now with how some of them are paying the bills. Hey, Ariel. Hey, good morning to you, Michael. It is still eerie standing here on a virtually empty Broadway. And for so many of those workers you mentioned, this year has been nothing short of heartbreaking. Now some of them are using their creativity to completely pivot their careers for now until Broadway lights up again. Check out this feature. It's incredible. For Don Daryl Rivera, showing a home is a performance. I'm really a supporting player and the the house is the star. Tons of light, great windows. But a year ago, he was putting on a different kind of show on Broadway as Iago in Aladdin. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> He's one of 97,000 Broadway professionals, nearly all of them out of work. Many pivoting as they eagerly await the lights on Broadway to shine again. Tamika Lawrence's stage credits include If Then, and with pipes like these, it's no wonder she has two Grammys. Her new role, running her own socially conscious streetwear line called Ready, Set, Wear. I've always been attracted to the fashion industry. The accessory that I am most jazzed about is the I Matter necklace. No matter who you are, black, white, whatever, I want boys and girls to feel like they matter. I'll even overlook her English. And for Tony nominee Robbie Fairchild, he's moved from an American in Paris on Broadway that she should care for to Bouquet his successful flower business now taking center stage. I was shocked at how similar um, performing was to flower arranging. Something he discovered after delivering flowers to a group of healthcare workers. Thank you so much. It filled my soul. Just like when the curtain comes down and comes back up and you take your, you take your bow, there's that moment where you get to see the enjoyment of the recipient or the audience member. And I hadn't felt that joy until I, made flowers. But it's not just performers who have been impacted. John Christensen and Brian Blythe run a costume shop in New York and founded the Costume Industry Coalition, raising funds to help support hundreds of fellow costume makers, specialty vendors, and other industry small businesses. Most people don't really see how much there is that goes into what we do. We know that the entertainment industry is going to return. We just want to ensure that we're still around when it does. And all of those artists say that this is temporary and they can't wait to get back on the stages they love. And the Broadway League says they hope that these theaters will be back open again in the fall. I, I think, guys, we can all look forward to that. Yes, we can, Ariel. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.